Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. Today, uh, we're going to talk. Please come up and sit down on Grammy's quilt. That's it. Come on up. Today, we're going to talk about a land animal that is just adorable. It is the size of a medium-sized dog. Yay long and so big. And has a very cute face. And one of the identifying marks is they they wear a mask. Can anyone guess a dog about, about the size of a medium dog? Yay high and adorable face. Um, I heard it. That's it. Raccoon. Yes, they are raccoons. And raccoons have gray, very dense fur. And they have these identifying black masks. They have four to seven black rings on their tail. They are very dexterous. They have five toes on their front paws. And that means they can bend their little finger and their thumb, their what would be our thumb. They don't have a thumb. They just have another finger. But they can bend it together so they can grasp bottles and hands and all kinds of things. They forage for food as far as 18 miles in a day. That's a long ways to look for food. And they live in trees or burrows in the ground. They also live, if they're a city raccoon, they live in uh, sewers and sheds and attics and even barns. So um, raccoons are very opportunist. They eat just about anything. They're omnivorous. That means they eat both meat and vegetables. And, um, and I brought a picture, to a coloring picture. I did not write on it today, God made the raccoons, but I will. And you can see the cute little mask, the button eyes, the little pointed snout, and their body size, and then their tail, which is marked with the rings around it. And so that's, that's a really good. And they are cute, but they're um, quite a nuisance in the city. They can wreak havoc on somebody's garden in their yard. And they can destroy pretty much all the food source that comes from a garden if they find it. And they also can turn over trash cans and get whatever's inside of that. Um, raccoons are nocturnal, so it means they move around at night. And um, in the winter, they pretty much stay in their dens. But in spring and summer and fall, they're very active. Um, raccoons have one to six babies, and they're called kits. And their mom is very, very protective of them. Kits stay very close to mom for about 12 to 14 months. And then they move on and have their own families or um, are just stay still in the area with mom. They have very loose-knit communities. So there's four to seven or eight raccoons in a community. And they're so communicative. They have over 200 sounds they make and over 12 to 15 calls. They have what are almost like little hands because of these five toes they have on their front paws. And they can open jars and bottles and all kinds of things. They're very good with their hands. Now, raccoons carry quite a few diseases, so it makes them unsuitable and almost unsafe to have as a pet. I have a story, though, that is just the opposite of that. It's a story that, a real story, a true story, that took place about 100 years ago, almost a hundred years. And that's when our president of the United States, 
was called Calvin Coolidge. And when Calvin was in the office of president, he and his wife were given a gift from a friend. And it was given as a Thanksgiving turkey almost was given for their Thanksgiving. But Grace, who's the first lady, very attached to this raccoon that was given to them. And she ended up naming it Rebecca. You'll see on the screen, I think, a picture of Grace Coolidge and Rebecca, who they kept at the White House for three or four years, and then they gave uh, Rebecca to the Rock Creek Zoo. So Re Rebecca was very famous and pictured in a lot of pictures. If you look that up on the internet, you'll see a lot of pictures of Rebecca, the raccoon. They did not eat her. <laughs> they, raccoons are very tidy little animals. They, uh, one of their identifying things is they rinse their food. Um, they will live close by um, wherever a stream is, and they will, if they catch a fish or whatever, they will rinse it off really well before they eat it. And if they live, happen to live in the city where there is no water close, they will... Um, they will rub that raccoon, that food together to make sure there's no dirt on it. So it just happens to be one of the things that they do. They rub their food and they rinse their food if they're close to water. They're cute and cuddly, but they're quite fierce in the wild. Um, they walk on all fours and they're good climbers and they have great vision. And they can run up to 15 miles an hour. Um, these are one of God's adorable creatures. We can all enjoy, but from a distance. So let's just pray this morning and thank God for the darling raccoons that he placed in for us to enjoy. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I want to thank you today for the raccoons that you've given us, how cute they are, and how we can learn from them. I pray, Lord, that you'll bless every child that's listening today and every hearer, and I pray, Lord, that you will be very near to the children, protect them, Lord, and I ask that all in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for being here. So glad to see you. See you next week. Bye.